Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and welcome back to the, uh, the Gym Leader rematches. We are here in Candelaria City, the city with the best music in the game. I will not be taking objections at this time. And we are going to be rematching the leader here, I believe that is Byron. Once again, I, uh, I do not know the Gym Leaders in this, this set of games as well as I know them in some of the other games. Um, let's see, can I... That, that didn't lead me where I wanted to go. Alright, this this platform looks a little bit different from the other ones, which I take to mean is going to mean that we're going to be taking it to the leader, and it looks like indeed we are. Lord Byron, thanks for coming. I heard about your remar remarkable achievement from Roark, that you've entered the Hall of Fame. No surprise there. Small wonder, then, that my son and I had such a rough time battling you, but this time I won't underestimate you or let my guard down in the slightest. I have you to thank for shaking me out of my complacency. Now then, Dragonite, brace yourself and let's begin. Okay. Nice hair. I forget if I complimented your hair the last time. So we're going to be fighting Byron. Byron, Byron is going to be sending out a Skarmory. Um, if this is anything like a competitive Skarmory, I suspect we're going to be seeing shortly a lot of spikes and or stealth rocks. Um... Leading with a fairy type may not be the greatest of ideas, but Skarmory is not the most offensive of Pokemon ever, so I think I can uh, hopefully get away with using a Reflect on the first turn. Um, Flash Cannon is a special Steel type move, which is semi common. I can't use Light Screen anyway. I was gonna say, so I might consider using Light Screen, but that is not an option now. So, who do I want to bring in? Faraday. All right, let's go and uh, let's go and use uh, a little move called Discharge here. See if I can do anything to. Okay, you're gonna Iron Defense. Definitely don't want to hit a Skarmory with a physical attack. Uh, you're much weaker from the special side. Um, the other option was Archimedes using Flare Blitz, but one, I don't want to use Flare Blitz if I don't have to, and two, physical attacks. Flare, Bl Flare Blitz probably wouldn't have KO'd a Skarmory, um, or at least completely. Or at least come close to KOing a Skarmory at plus two. Uh, you have Sturdy, though. So, one-hit KOs are kind of out of the question. Uh, you are most likely going to go and use... A, um... A full Restore here. And that is the Leftovers. Uh, you're probably still going to use a full Restore here, because that's what the AI does. Hmm. Oh no, you're going to withdraw into Steelix. All right, that is a bit of a problem uh, from the point of view that you don't take damage from from Electric. I thought about using Tri-Attack too, just so that if you did decide to use a full restore, I could like head off a little bit of damage without inducing another potential healing item, but um, let's see, Darwin. Unfortunately, my team as a whole is rather weak on the special side. I am very much a physical team between Darwin and Kepler and Archimedes and and the like. Uh, Earthquake is not going to affect me, I know. And the couple special attacks I do have can't really do anything to a Steelix. Anyway, we're going to Waterfall you. That is going to do actually more damage than I thought. But Darwin's going to land a critical... Oh, okay, that would explain it. Yeah, uh, without a critical hit, that would have been a little more than half. Probably not much more. So you're going to crunch me. And... Here I foresee a... No, okay, I was going to say here I foresee a healing item. So I've been wrong on a couple accounts as to how this battle is going to play out. Steelix is going down, and your next Pokemon is going to be... Are you going to send Skarmory back in or something? As I he get healed back to almost full health with the leftovers, you are going to send in a Magnezone. All right. That's uh, not a huge, huge problem. Who do I have that can take take on a Magnezone? Obviously, you want to use a... Uh, you want to use an electric attack, because Darwin is four times weak to electric. Um... Alright, my own Magnezone can't really dish anything out. And there's always the possibility that you have, like, ooh, wow. That you have Magnet Pull for the ability or something like that, which I kind of don't want to face. Um, with a, with a Magnezone, because that would just make the whole thing take very, very long. 
So instead, we're going to to hit you with a close combat. I'm kind of gonna kind of gonna concede my Infernape here. I've been doing that a lot, haven't I? And you're gonna probably take me down with Flash Cannon unless I somehow managed to hang on, which I did not. All right. The uh, the affection stat did not come through for me in this in this situation. Let's see. There's a part of me that wants to wants to use close combat just in case you heal after this. Um, but I, I know that if you don't do that, I should be able to deal with you with facade. I'm gonna use close combat. Okay, you're not healing. I've only I don't I think Roark is the only gym leader I've seen in these rematches using an actual healing item. I don't think Gardenia might have. I don't think uh Maylene Crasherwake definitely didn't. And so far, this guy hasn't on a couple of occasions. Anyway, I just lowered my physical defense and also special uh, defense by one stage for pretty much no reason. Uh, everyone's going to get experience. Agron is going to come in. You also have Sturdy, if I recall. Um, you happen to be four times a week to, uh, to, to close combat, though. So let's... Ooh, head smash. Why is an Agron faster than a Stur Sturaptor? And you do not have Sturdy on this particular one. You might have Rockhead, hence the head smash. That would have been terrifying if I didn't uh, if I didn't avoid it. Are you scarfed? Is like is there any possible way that an Agron is faster than a Staraptor? Hey. I feel like you have to be choice scarfed. Again, um, and I, I guess I'm kind of committed to close combat at this point. Again, I will, uh, I will look up some of the, the hold items that the more interesting opponents have, uh, just to see. But, let's see, I'm at minus three, minus three, there's, you could use, like, sneeze on me. You could just sneeze in my general direction and I'd die. Uh, Kepler has gone down. And that's, uh, that's, alright. You took down two, two and a half of his, his, his dudes there, so that's, I think that's, uh, I, I think you've definitely carried your own weight in this fight. So, let's see. Light screen in, in anticipation of a flash cannon. You are using a floor restore. Okay, so this is a free, uh, this is a free light screen. I think I'm also going to use reflect here. Because there are indeed a lot of, a lot of potential steel type moves that are physical that, that might end up coming my way. War, okay, that's interesting. Why are you, do you not have flash cannon? You do have flash cannon. Why do you, why on earth did you use war? That's very strange. Unless the AI has like special code that will occasionally have them use the wrong move or something, but to like simulate a misclick or just an error in judgment or something like that on the part of a on the part of a human opponent. I don't know, that's strange. Anyway, flash cannon, I four times resist that. Uh, plus if you count the light screen, I eight times resist that. So uh, Faraday wasn't exactly taking damage from that. Uh, discharge is gonna do a lot more damage than um than Grass Not Dead, and Napoleon's gonna go down. And what else is there? If you are rattling in the background, that is my rabbit drinking from his water bottle very loudly because he's currently in my room because it's currently really bad weather outside. Um, actually, it's kind of nice out right now. Maybe I should put him back out after this recording. Oh, whatever. I'll have to check the weather report for the next couple days. So Faraday is going to use Discharge. That is going to that is going to do it for Skarmory. Um, Byron did use a full restore, just not like when I thought he would. And I'm gonna take some more recoil from the life orb. Uh, next! The last Pokemon is... I would say Lucario, except Maylene had a Lucario Bastion. Bastion. Um, Bastiodon. I think I mis mispronounced that two different ways. Anyway, Bastiodon is pretty bulky. Uh, both of my users of fighting type moves are down, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna have to see how much I can do with, uh, 
with a life or boosted discharge. You're gonna metal burst? That's gonna lower my special defense, right? Oh no, wow, what is that? That was a steel type move? That I did not four times resist? I have no idea. Anyway, Darwin is kind of my, my second in command when it comes to dealing with um uh, rock rock steel types because Darwin has has waterfall. Um, you still have an awful lot of physical defense at being the counter counterpart to Rampardos, but this should, this should do a fair amount. All right. Why, why did you not do that on, like, the first turn of battle, sir? I question the AI's decision sometimes. Anyway, light screen wore off. Reflect is going to wear off in the next turn, but that really, really does not matter because this is a... Um, the last turn. And come to think of it, is Metal Burst one of those moves that does a fixed amount of damage or at least has a damage calculation that isn't the usual, like... <sighs> I can't remember the damage formula. There was a time when I had the Pokemon damage formula memorized because I just referred to it so often. Um, but it wasn't based on the regular attack and defense stats. Uh, Metal Burst might be one of those weird gimmicky moves. Anyway, that battle was shorter than the last couple. Do I want to go to Fantina and take on the Ghost Chat Gym Leader? I did not read a word that you said, but you did give me a Stone Sticker C. You know what? I'm going to do that. Because after the time that I spent navigating the gym, this is going to be like a, an 11 minute video, which there was a time in YouTube history when that would have been considered normal, but it's, uh, 11 minutes is a little bit short for my taste. So I will see you in Heart Home. I guess if I really wanted to be a nerd about things, the uh, the time limit in the olden days of YouTube was 10 minutes 59 seconds because YouTube had this thing for like appending a second to the to the view duration, uh, to the video duration for whatever reason for a long time. I think they finally fixed that like 15 years on, but no matter. 11 minutes is a bit short for a video for uh, for these days. In a perfect world, I'd probably try to like. Um, 15 is, is all the way on the right. In a perfect world, I'd probably go for like 18, 19 minutes for video duration, but uh, that is... If you wanted to, to have a, a long JRPG done in a reasonable amount of time, that would probably make things drag out for a while. Uh, that is 40, which is straight ahead. So uh, I generally go with like 25 minutes for video durations. Um, wasn't there one more? Oh, there is. Okay. For some reason, I thought we were at the end already. Uh, thir 39 is on, on this side. This is a gym puzzle that's not so much a puzzle as I can just, like, talk through this. Alright, was there one more after this? I think there might have been four. Um, alright. Anyway, as far as strategy goes, um, I don't know if I want to do my my usual that I've been doing so far, Mr. Mime out front using the dual screens, because ghost types are one, super effective on Mr. Mime, and two, ghost is one of those types that has some pretty good attacks from both the physical and special side. Um, and setting up them both would just expose me to, to taking a lot of damage faster, and I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, the most Probably the most famous ghost type move in this day and age is Shadow Ball, but... Uh, I'll lead with the normal type. But, uh, Ghost was before the physical special split. Oh ho ho, we meet again. You beat the champion and joined the Hall of Fame. That is what I heard. I lost before. They plorable. And so I studied more. I must have my, how do you say, revenge? Right now, I will have my revenge. I'm sure you will. Uh, before the physical special split, Ghost was indeed a physical, a physical type, and, uh, there are still a number of decent physical Ghost type moves, Shadow Claw, Shadow Punch, those sorts of things. Um, anyway, you are gonna lead with a Drift Blim. Drift Blim is a specially oriented Ghost type. Um, I put Darwin out front because Darwin has some pretty good moves that can hit Ghost types and cannot take damage from Ghost types himself. Um, unfortunately, that one, that one move that I mean by... Pretty good moves, plural, is really just Brave Bird. And Brave Bird has recoil damage, and I don't have anything that can mitigate recoil damage, like leftovers or anything, so I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of mileage out of this. Uh, Drifflin has a lot of HP. That's going to do a lot of recoil damage. You might have Thunderbolt. Drifflin sometimes carries Thunderbolt. That's Thunderbolt. Okay, I'm probably dead. Ooh, thank you very much. Alright. 
You got burned. All right, that is going to raise your special attack, I believe. Um, if you use a floor restore, that's going to be a little bit of an annoyance. Uh, you are going to use a floor restore. I'm going to use steel wing. Uh, that is... That is fine, I guess. Kepler is going to see all of one fight. Uh, we're going to use Steel Wing to take down a little bit of your health. And we are going to watch you get burned by the Flame Orb to boost your special attack. And we are going to um, self-KO with Brave Bird. So, score is 5-5. Five to five. Uh, My team is going to be getting some experience. What level was that, Driplim? Didn't see. I haven't really been uh, keeping track of whether or not these opponent Pokemon are getting stronger as I as I go through the Sinnoh circuit. Anyway, who do I want to bring in next? I'm gonna bring in my starter just because just because my starter is someone who hasn't gotten a lot of a uh, use in combat lately. That is a bayonet. All right, bayonet is a very physical attacker. Um. Acrobatics Flare Blitz. Let's see how much Acrobatics does. You are actually only level 65, so maybe these uh, maybe these gym leaders aren't growing in power as I traverse the Sinnoh Circuit. Shadow Sneak is a weird choice of moves to use here. Alright, that didn't do anything. Just wanted to see how much it would do. Oh, you know what? I am holding an item, aren't I? I should probably drop the item if I want Acrobatics to actually be useful for anything. So let's Flare Blitz. Um, if I was not holding an item, that would have done half, and that would have allowed me to 2 it KO the Bayonet, but... Haha, <laughs> I should probably ditch whatever I'm holding after this fight. So, team's gonna gain experience. Dusknoor is coming in next. Dusknoor is kind of a, a corollary to Driftlim in that it, uh, it doesn't have a lot of HP. It's got an awful lot of attack. I mean defense. Same thing. So let's Flare Blitz. Uh, this should do a decent chunk. I won't take too much recoil damage owing to du Dusknoor not having a lot of HP to, to be recoiled on. Um, as long as I survive this... Oh, I was gonna say, as long as I survive this, I might be able to, uh... Use Acrobatics and finish you, but that was a critical hit, and... Um, Earthquake is, a uh, Earthquake is gonna... Gonna deal the, the final blow to my... My Monkey King. And... Um, after the Citrus Berry, Acrobatics wouldn't have been able to finish you. Let's see... I guess the fallback is, is Gyarados, because uh, Darwin has Crunch. Crunch obviously being a fairly good move to use against things like this. Um, could set up with Dragon Dance, but honestly I don't want to I don't want to rely on Dragon Dance spam for yet another battle. And it's also possible that Dusknoor has a Will-O-Wisp, because Dusknoor is carrying Will-O-Wisp, because that is something Dusknoor likes to do fairly often, because it's it's just extremely good at getting in the way is my overall diagnosis, um, which would uh, which would definitely cut the benefit of Dragon Dance. Miss Magus is up next. Miss Magus is a pretty good special attacker. Um, Shadow Ball, Thunder Ball, Ice Beam. I think Miss Magus can learn Ice Beam, but just generally special attacks. It seems that you did not have a Thunder Ball, because I have to imagine that if you did, you would have used it. It's super effective. Miss Magus is going down. <coughs> and uh, Hypatia almost gained a level there. Those leftovers coming in extremely handy. So, Frostlass is up next. Uh, Frostlass is honestly kind of similar to Miss Magus, now that I think about it, in a lot of ways. I don't think its special attack is quite as high. Um, you are going to use Will-O-Wisp. That is going to be very annoying. I really wish you wouldn't. Uh, let's see what a neutral crunch can do, or effectively neutral crunch can do, because... Um, burn cuts my attack in half and cancels the type advantage. Uh, Crunch was disabled, okay. Uh, Leftovers is gonna heal a little bit, Burn is gonna, gonna damage a little bit. And we are pretty much, pretty much breaking even after that, uh, post-turn effect. Faraday, let's, uh, come on in and see what you can do. For us, last being Ice-type would be weak to, uh... <clears throat> what is it? Flash Cannon. Hex, okay. That's a decent strategy, actually, because that will do double damage to things that are afflicted by a major status, and you uh, you just burned Gyarados. Uh, you're gonna will with me. I see your plan, but I think a flash cannon boosted by life or boosted by stab, boosted by super effective, should be a uh, should be enough to take you down. All right, goodbye, Frostlass. 
And... Alright, critical hit, wishing to be praised. I don't think it mattered, but good job in any case. Flash Cannon has been disabled. That's fine, honestly. Um, I'm probably going to be using using a regular... Hypatia gained a level. A regular... Uh, discharge after, after this. Let's see. You are hurt by the burn. And... Could this really be your last? Maybe. Gengar is up next. Alright. This is your final Pokemon, you're a level 72, and Gengar is going to take a Discharge. Uh, Gengar is going to use Hex, that's going to hurt. Alright. I wonder, is that your entire team's plan? Uh, does, uh, does everyone on your team know some status move in Hex? Oh, you're a Life Orb. Fancy. I can... I can hit you with either Payback or Extra Sensory, they'll both do super effective damage. I'm pretty sure Gengar's physical defense is much, much lower than its special, so I'm gonna go with Payback, because I'm gonna definitely go second anyway. Um... Ooh, my god, wow. That wasn't even... That wasn't even boosted by a, by a status effect, that was just super effective coming off the power of a Gengar. Wow, okay, Bronzong. That might be the first time in history that Bronzong has not been able to stand up to something like that. But, I think that's game. We have defeated Fantina. Uh, bravo! And we're gonna, get, we're gonna get some money. Zoot, I am dumbfounded. I grew strong, but you grew much, much stronger. Really, you are Magna... Magna. Anyway, you're gonna give me a sticker. That is a sinister sticker. And, uh, au revoir. So, let's see, I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, I'm going to end this video here, because, uh, we have now been going for about 20-ish minutes, and I, uh, I think that is long enough. So, next time, it is going to be heading north to, uh, to Snow Point, and fighting the, uh, the Gym Leader Candace, fighting her ice types, and, uh, we'll see where we go from there. I don't know if anything interesting is gonna happen after I fight Volkner. Um, probably not, because it sounds like you can just do this daily. Um, if not, after this, I'll probably go to the Elite Four again. Actually, no, I want to do that last. There are other legendaries. There are other legendaries you can hunt down around Sinnoh. I'll probably do those. I do want to do contests. Um, was there something else I mentioned? There might have been something else that I wanted to do. I think contests were the big one after the, after the Underground. Anyway, I will see you all later.